All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, this video we're looking at uh, Pythagoras in the context of composite shapes, and we've dealt with composite shapes in the past quite a bit, um, and so now it's just applying what we understand of Pythagoras into this situation. Uh, so, for example, if we had a, and obviously just a recap of composite shapes, they are shapes that are made up of multiple other shapes. Uh, so we could have, I guess, this case of a rectangle or a square added with a triangle. Um, and if I were to take this out, you could say that it's a trapezium, um, which is probably the un less familiar one. Um, but it is a trapezium nonetheless. Um, this side here is 8, 7, 12, and we're wanting to work out what x is. Now, we can put a line there, and that distance is going to be the same as the 7 on the other side. And now we have a triangle of 7 um, and x, but what we don't know is this value. We do know that the total length is 12. We know that this length is 8. So it would make sense that this is 4 being the difference of those two. Okay, 12 minus 8 leaves you with 4. So now we've got that triangle that we can draw on the side separately so you don't confuse yourself. We've got 4, we've got 7, and we've got x. So what we'll do is the same thing. We got 7 squared plus 4 squared is equal to x squared. Uh, 49 plus 16 is equal to x squared. It's really, really helpful for you guys to know your square tables. Okay, um, can't stress that enough. So 49 plus 16 is 65. And then the square root of that is 8 point, let's round it off to the nearest decimal, 8.1. Okay, so obviously the square root of 64 is 8. Uh, it's going to be just a little bit uh, higher than that. All right, let's move on to another example. Let's... Uh, go with something like this one, which might look a little bit more terrifying, but it's okay. 18, 5, 2, that's a right angle triangle there. Uh, that's a right angle, that's right angle. We'll have this as 10, and we want to work out what this total height is. Okay, so we've got a few scenarios here. Um, obviously, we need to work out what this distance is. Uh, we also need to work out what this distance is, and we'll call that Z. And obviously, add those two values. Uh, y plus Z is going to equal the total length of X. And we can say that this value here is Z across to that triangle. Uh, we can also state that this horizontal distance is 10. So we've got two triangles that we need to work out first uh, and then work out the other values. So let's start off with uh, this triangle here. Okay, We've got, uh, I'll do this in red. So we'll work out this triangle. We've got 2 squared uh, plus z squared is equal to 5 squared. And sorry that my... 2s and z's look the same. There we go. So 4 plus z squared is equal to 25. I'm going to move the 4 across by subtracting. So z squared is equal to 21. And then lastly, we want the square root of 21. z is equal to 4.6. Okay, let's uh, move on to the other triangle, which is in the green. So we got y squared plus 10 squared is equal to 18 squared. y squared plus 100 is equal to 324. 
y squared is then 224 because we're going to subtract 100 from that and the square root of 224 is 14.9 okay so if this is 14.9 and this part is 14.9 4.6, then the total for x is going to equal, so 14.9 plus 4.6 is equal to 19.5. All right, so there's, there's that question. I'm going to finish off with this question, uh, which is simply a plank of wood uh, that is placed on two trestle table feet, I guess, and each of these feet are 2.5 meters um, high or long in length, sorry, and the plank of wood is 4 meters in length. Now, the distance between the two feet of the trestles is 3 meters, and this question is asking how high is the plank of wood from the ground? Okay. The way that I would approach this um, is we're looking at this triangle here, okay? And we're wanting to work out what this height is that I've labeled as X. So the looking at this diagram, we can see that I guess everything is symmetrical and we've got this opposite uh, circum uh, situation happening, which is I guess a reflection of the right hand side. This horizontal side down below plus this side is going to be the difference between these two values. So 4 minus 3 is 1 meter, and therefore these have to be half of that. Okay, so now what we do have is we have a triangle that we know that this is 0 0.5, this is 2.5, and we're wanting to work what work out what this is. And just because we're dealing with decimals doesn't really make a difference, okay? So 0 0.5 squared plus x squared is equal to 2.5 squared. Uh, 0 0.25 plus x squared is uh, 6.25. We're going to subtract 0.25 from both sides, so x squared is equal to 6. Square root both sides. The square root of 6 is going to equal, uh, say, 2.44. And put it into meters. Uh, that's what we have to keep things, uh, ac oh, well, I guess, uh, consistent with all the other units of measurement. All right, hopefully that helps you with this video. I'll see you in the next one.